Through the in online version of player vs environment games, you should have challenging content by default. Because once you found yourself in the endgame situation, there should be something to keep you engaged. And actually, I've been suggesting dungeon type of raids where you have just one life, waves of mobs, bosses, and a lot of blah 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 for like, I don't know, 5 years. And 3 years later, after I made this post and a whole bunch of other similar posts, both won't make me happy and uh, whoever thinks the same way. Obviously, I'm not being super original with what I suggest in my videos on their Discord server or even Reddit, but it is always great to see that actually your opinion is being implemented. So, we have a dungeon type of raid with waves of enemies that are gonna get stronger with every spawn, bosses and a maximum for players party to come victorious. When designing this activity, the team laid out 5 core features that will make raids different than other repeatable content, like daily ops, expeditions or world bosses. Well, we have required teamwork, challenge and game builds, unique boss fights, no time gating and the high value rewards. Okie dokie, let's take a look at the gleaming depth rate. Obviously we have a dedicated team with a bonus, while in a raid weapons have better condition and here's the location. Let's start with obvious, stuff is broken here, so your bloody non-power armored commando gonna suck deep. And since we have just one life, there is no luck for those who run this build. By the way, somehow Scout's Banner doesn't give us a second chance, so Beth really should consider to make stuff work in here, please. Tough boys are useless as well, so no, there is no way to be sneaky here. But I can go immortal and see what's up with this fight. The first boss, well, deals different types of damage, energy, radiation and explosive. And first you need to disable his shield and then kill him. Plus you definitely should pay attention to what they say. Oh, this will happen. Take shot. Good freaking bye, mamita. If you actually kill this robot, there will be another mission with a whole bunch of mole miners and their pets. And that is where teamwork is important. In theory you can solo this shit show, but I couldn't even be in immortal. Basically you need to grab canisters of oil one at a time and put them here. And of course there is a button to press, so let's do it. The main problem is mobs trying to destroy the drill. You need someone to protect it at all costs. I tried with new grenades, but was not super successful and uh, gave up. But basically that's what you need to do. And in case of not being immortal, well, this can happen. <laughs> Oh, fun. The third mission as well requires team play, cause you need to destroy 3 generators before you can destroy 3 bosses. There will be some iBots trying to repair mentioned generators, so it's a very short window to kill bosses. They're not so hard to kill, but it takes time anyways. I'm keep shooting here for no reason, because one of 3 generators is already restored. Let's kill the very last boss here and see what actually we get as a reward. By the way, for every mission we complete, we get more or less the same stuff. And in total we have 5 missions. Ok ok, Senorito Lynx is down, let's check the rewards. The amount of ammo you need to speed during these missions is crazy, so getting this as rewards is kinda a joke. And the joke is not funny at all. I don't care about XP, but 25 script? Seriously. And we definitely need some steams back, somewhere between 20 and 50, cause you gonna need them, believe me. But the biggest problem will be ammo. The next mission is the easiest one, you can even go solo with no problems, but uh, in power armor. 
Basically, you need to destroy these ultra side crystals while enemies are hanging around them. Upon doing this, a shock wave will be out that's gonna damage nearby mobs. So, just use some crystals to be out of their reach and pipu stuff until becoming victorious. The last boss is kinda bugged. I tried here, I mean on live server 10 times and every time we just die in the end. Yes, I could kill it in my custom world, but it doesn't count because I was immortal. Well, just keep in mind that you definitely need to shoot its tail as well. We gonna kill him! Ah no, what the fuck? What happened? Dude! <laughs> I don't know, it's bugged. Dude! That, that's, that happened to me before. What's the actual fuck? Wait, I need to... <laughs> and here I kinda killed it and got crap rewards. I think we should get the 4th star legendary modifications by default. Cause the raids require a lot of resources. And the 4 player party is a must here. So pack these teams up when you see them. Conclusion. We have three problems with raids. First, sometimes we get one shot or one hit and it is too much. Enemies should be strong but not freaking insane. Second, the difficulty to solo raid is kinda as well too much. Should be adjusted by how many participants we have, cause not everyone gonna do them. The third, rewards should be worth it to even try. 5k caps, 500 script, 25k experience and a shitload of legendaries. Basically, that was my first impression, I guess. <laughs> Soon Web gonna give us an updated version of raids, so today I did not get deep in details. Tail. That's all for today, big thank you for watching, I will see you later, bye bye bye, bye bye. Uh, I don't.